Hello and welcome to this tech tip series with me Rory from Hyper Production and today I'm here with Sonic Academy giving you a tech tip on how to tempo sync your sidechain compression. So what I get asked a lot is basically how can I make my pumping effect sort of in time for my track, it sounds a little bit off, it sounds not quite in time with the track and it, you know some of the tracks sound a little bit smoother with their sidechain and that's down to basically setting the release times to match your DAW's global tempo. Now there's a really easy way you can do this, so what I'm going to do, I've got a little thing set up here which is pretty basic. Okay, so what I want to do is sidechain obviously this synth part down here. So we're going to put a compressor on there, and then we're going to open up this sidechain compression, and then we're going to select our input from our kick, and then what we're going to do is obviously pull down the threshold which will then get us to a point where it starts pumping. So that's all very well and good, but we want it to have a bit more feel and a bit more sort of rhythmic element to it to match our DAW's sort of tempo, okay? Now you'll notice at the bottom here, it's all to do with this release. Now it's in milliseconds and not necessarily time signatures, so that can kind of put people off in terms of where to actually place it and what millisecond measurement we need it to be at. However, there is a website out there called Sengi Piel Audio. I've probably pronounced that completely wrong, but yeah, there's this website. If you Google sort of calculator BPM tempo time or sort of MS to tempo conversion, you should come up with this as your first search result. Then what we can do is go down to this little section here, so BPM delay time calculator, and this is essentially what we need. We just basically need it in milliseconds what our sort of delay is going to be. So we've already got our BPM in there at 146, so we can type that in there, and then you can select what basically you want it to output with. So we can have a quarter note or an eighth note or a sixteenth, and basically when we do that and then calculate delay time, it's then going to give us our milliseconds. So if we want to go to quarter note, so we know that's going to be at 410 milliseconds. So then we can go down to our release time, type in 410, and we know that that release time of that compressor is then going to be in time with our track. So you can notice, especially on this end bit here, when that last note hits, it sort of goes up to its full volume before it comes back down again. So it makes it sound very rhythmical and it makes it sound like the pumping's in time with the track. So let's say we want to bump this down to maybe an eighth note. So then let's do that. So that's at 205. So it's obviously half it. So you can just work it out that way. So as soon as you find out sort of the quarter note, you can kind of calculate what the eighth note and the sixteenth are going to be because it's just sort of divided by two. So we can go to 205 and then we've got an eighth note pumping effect. Okay, and that's much better than just sort of having the release at any sort of random time. Or too long. So that's how you get your sidechain compression in time with your track. So it's a definitely a helpful tool to make everything sort of sound rhythmically very in tune with each other. So I've been Rory from Hyper Production. You've been watching Sonic Academy. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.